Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect your Mac to a TV. Uh, so before we continue any further, if you're looking for the written version of how to get this done, I'll have a link to my website in the video description. Now, uh, I just want to keep in mind is that this method will work whether you have a Mac laptop or a Mac desktop. So both methods will still be applicable. And I'm going to go over three different methods to get this done. The first two are officially supported methods by Apple. Super easy to do. And the third method is more like using third party tools which may or may not work, so uh, let's cover with the official supported Apple methods first. First and foremost being, of course, is a wireless method, which is the most convenient. So the first method uses AirPlay, which is Apple's official wireless screen mirroring technology. Now, some smart TVs will support this natively, like mine over here does support it. In case your smart TV does not support it, that's okay. Maybe you have a media streamer connected to it. Either way, this takes a couple of clicks to get it done and find out if it doesn't work. Worst case scenario, we jump to the wired method. So to get this done on your Mac, what you want to do is open the main systems preferences menu, then go over to display, usually in the bottom left. And there should be a little drop down near the bottom of this called AirPlay Display. You're going to tap on it and then basically look for the device you're trying to mirror to. In my case, it's Basement TV. And as you can see, you know, no wires attached. I'm now uh, mirroring everything. Uh, if I were to move it over across over here, I don't know how much you can see the Mac because it's, it's pretty small. But yeah, as you can see, yeah, you kind of can make out that I am moving the screen around. And the latency is not that bad. It's actually incredibly smooth, surprisingly. So this is the easiest method. You did it in just a few clicks. Of course, by default, it mirrors the display, but you can turn it off so that it'll extend the display. So for example, using it as like a multi-monitor setup. So let's see if we can bring that in there. As you can see, my TV is the second display and my MacBook Pro is the first display. So that's that. Now we're gonna do the same thing using a wired method. So the next method is a wired method. So in my example, I have an issue. I need to use an adapter because my TV only has HDMI ports. My MacBook Pro only has USB-C ports. So regular HDMI wire will not work. In my example, what I need to buy is an HDMI to USB-C wire adapter. Those are pretty cheap, easy to find on the internet. You can just Google search for it or whatever. But in other cases, my personal preference is to buy a multi-adapter. A multi-adapter in this example, which I'll zoom into so it's easier for you to see, has USB-C as the main port here. Okay, this is going to connect to my MacBook Pro and then surrounding the rest of my multi adapter. I have a port for uh, HDMI, which will work for this TV. I have VGA for ancient computer monitors, display port for more modern computer monitors, Ethernet, which is Internet. Um, and then, of course, another USB-C adapter and then regular USB A fitting. Which one you use, whether it's a single adapter, HDMI to USB-C, or a multi-adapter like this, USB-C to many different types of ports, is completely up to you. You can just Google search for one of these multi-adapters, USB-C to whatever, and you can find many search results on the internet. You can buy it on the internet if you want to from a shop. Now, if you're not sure which ports your TV uses, maybe yours uses like different RCA cables for whatever reason you're trying to connect your Mac to, um, just let me know. So what I'm going to do is, again, I mentioned earlier that a link to my website on how to get this done, the written version, will be in the video description, a link to it. I also have pictures of various video ports. So if you're not sure which port your TV or external computer monitor you're trying to connect to has, just go to my website and I'll have pictures explaining, you know, this is what HDMI looks like, this is what USB-C looks like, and blah, 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 blah. Um, and I can always update it later on if there's a new type of port available. Put it in the comment section and I'll update my website with new pictures as well. So this example, super easy. What I want to do is I have a regular HDMI wire. Okay, I'm going to plug it into my TV. Then I'm going to take that HDMI wire and plug it into my multi adapter. And the last thing to do is to connect this multi adapter with the USB-C fitting into my Mac. And I should get a prompt that there's a new input to select. As I struggle on camera, I'm not going to fast forward it. I'm just going to let you see it live. And there you have it. I have a wired connection, super easy. Again, same thing. I can move the displays around, it's being mirrored right now, but I can turn off mirroring um, and I can kind of have his extended display, so multiple displays. So this is display one, this is display two, exactly like it showed in the wireless method. So that's pretty much the two official methods on how to do it from Apple. Okay, so the last method is not officially supported by Apple because there's multiple, multiple ways to get it done using uh, third party options. Uh, there are usually like multiple tools you can get to mirror your screen of a Mac to a TV, usually through a wireless method. The wired method I already explained, there's no really other way to get around it. Wireless method has multiple methods. So I showed you AirPlay from Apple. Um, another common method is using Google Chromecast technology. But there are some caveats because again, this is not officially supported. So for example, 
If I were to go to my Google Chrome browser on my Mac, hit the three dots at the top, and I'm on the YouTube website, go to Cast, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of devices in my house that will accept it as a castable device. Basement TV's at the bottom, I'm gonna select it. Okay, so here's the catch. You'll, you'll see a whole bunch of Peppa Pig results because thanks to my, my kid playing Peppa Pig. But what's happening is that you'll notice on the Mac, there's my YouTube channel, but here's a whole bunch of Peppa Pig results from my kid watching it on the smart app from the TV itself. What's basically happening is that the native YouTube app on my smart TV opens up. It's waiting for a command from my Mac to play a video content from the Mac to the TV. So in this method, technically, if I were to start playing uh, a YouTube video on my Mac, it'll automatically cast to the TV. If I were to cast to something else like my Google Display smart home device, it works better. It actually literally mimics the entire screen of the Mac. So using third-party options in this example is, is great because it shows you, yeah, I can cast a video from my Mac to here, but I can't mirror my whole screen. Right? So it really depends on what your TV or smart media player that's connected to your TV is capable of doing or not capable of doing. So basically what I'm trying to say is using third party options, your experience may vary. Use the two first methods that I showed because they're officially supported by Apple, work the best. That's pretty much it. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links and website in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.